This program was freaking life-changing. A 14-day hormonal reset program, and I have so much energy. Three more days, and I feel really good, so it's worth it, I feel amazing. Wait, I have endometriosis. I don't have any freaking cramps. I don't feel tired. Like I have to take the freaking pills or I literally can't function. Excuse me. I'm trying to vlog here. Good morning and welcome back to another video. I'm super excited about today. Well, really just this vlog in general because I feel so good and happy and positive and I have so much energy. But before I explain to you why I feel so freaking good, I need to go grocery shopping because it looks like it's gonna pour and I need to get my groceries done so I have food to cook today because I don't have any food to cook. Um, I totally lied to you just a little bit. I got my veg delivery, so I have eggs and I got all of my vegetables for the week. So we're stocked up on that, but I need some other things. So it was like kind of a lie, but kind of not a lie. Lols, I literally need three things. <laughs> this video or this portion of the video on the couch because it felt a little more casual but there's construction going on next door so it's kind of loud and then I was like okay maybe I could film it at the office but then I'm like that feels way too like formal so we're in my bedroom I know maybe the lighting's not the best and it's not like the cutest most aesthetic setup but it is what it is we're rolling with the punches today and we're talking about health we're talking about the hormonal reset my cute little baby Sese wants to join in. But anyways, if you hear some noises, I'm really sorry, there's nothing I can really do about it. There's construction going on literally right next door and it's not like I can be like, hey, I'm filming a YouTube video, can you shut up? Like, so we're gonna deal with it. So if you have not been watching my last few videos or following me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know that over the last two weeks, I've been doing a 14 day hormonal reset program, focusing on the premise that food is medicine. And in simplest terms, I eat the foods they tell me to eat and I don't eat the foods they tell me not to eat. There's no pills, supplements, crazy diets. It doesn't take a bunch of time. It's literally just focused on these are the foods to eat, these are the foods not to eat for 14 days. And of course there's way more to the program than just a grocery list, but in simple terms, eat the foods they tell you to eat, don't eat the foods they tell you not to eat. Just to give you a little background about why I started the program, if you haven't been watching my other videos, I would say check out the other videos to learn more, but here's quick background. Basically, for about three weeks leading up to the program, I had been struggling with really, really, really bad anxiety. It was getting worse and worse every single day. My emotions were all over the place, crazy ups and downs, and everything that normally works for me was not working like it was just getting worse and i needed to do something about it and i had already known about this hormonal reset program because my friend mac is actually the founder of the program so i was like you know what i'm just gonna give it a try so i set up a meeting with him and his partner to be like look this is what i'm going through do you think this is gonna help and he was like kelsey of course it's gonna help it couldn't do any harm now what he did tell me was that the program was focused towards women with PCOS, but this program can literally help anyone and everyone. And as he was telling me about the PCOS thing, he was like, we've had women join for weight loss, we've had men join for weight loss, we've had people just wanting to balance their hormones, we've had people with endometriosis wanting to subside their symptoms, and I was like, wait, I have endometriosis. 
what do you mean? And he basically just told me a little bit more about that and how this program has helped so many women with endometriosis or PCOS or all the other reasons why people have joined. And I was like, okay, sign me up, we're doing it. Really, I need to balance my hormones because my emotions are freaking crazy. But if I get any benefits from my endometriosis symptoms, like, hallelujah, your girl's gonna be so happy. And sure enough, I am not lying when I say this program was freaking life-changing. Life-changing. TMI warning. If you're new to my channel, I have to put this warning in there. If you're not new to my channel, this is nothing new. So I started my period this morning and I started like 10 days early actually and I'm Actually, I know it's because of the hormonal reset, but I usually have horrible, horrible, horrible cramps. The day my period starts, so my first day, and usually my second day, but especially my first day, my cramps are so bad to the point where I can like barely move. I, it's like hard for me to get out of bed and I can't handle it. I have to take pain meds or else I'm just like moaning and crying and can't move. And I don't have any cramps. I don't have any freaking cramps. I don't feel tired. I mean, obviously I feel like I'm on my period, but I don't have any cramps and I just can't believe it. Like, I can't believe it. It does explain my ridiculous chocolate craving yesterday though. So now that makes sense. I got my period and for the first time in three years, I did not experience any period cramps. And I'm not talking just like little tiny period cramps, like, oh, I'm uncomfortable, like, no. When I get my period on that first day and sometimes my second day, my cramps are so bad to the point where they're either waking me up in the middle of the night and I'm borderline screaming out in pain or throughout the day I'm like crying, can barely get out of bed. Like I am in so much pain. I had no other choice but to take pain meds and I'm not one to just take medicine. So I really don't like having to do that. But when the cramps are so bad, there's not much option. Like I have to take the freaking pills or I literally can't function until this freaking hormonal reset program. I couldn't believe it. Yes, there were so many other amazing benefits to it, but to me, that was the biggest one. That was something that I was like, oh my God, this has changed my life. Now, let's be honest here. It's hard man i eat a pescatarian diet and i don't really like fish that much so i don't eat it often and basically on this two-week program almost all of my protein sources were taken away so i was basically living off of eggs and fish for two weeks to get my protein i mean yes of course i had like nuts and and like other small things and i could have beans very minimal amount of beans throughout the two weeks, but it was really hard. I have a feeling I shouldn't have put something in it because it kind of smells weird. Something is funky. It tastes really weird. Okay, I remade it and I did it super easy. I literally did water, almonds, cinnamon, and sea salt. And it's so good. I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm definitely starting to get really sick of the food. There's a lot I can eat, but if I ate meat, there'd be a lot more that I could eat. Three more days, and I feel really good, so it's worth it, I feel amazing. I'm just like sick of eating the same foods, you know what I mean? I asked Cam to make me eggs so I can have something different. <laughs> Yum. 
Thank you. Uh -huh. I'm only making a snack because I'm going over to Alex's later and we're making fish tacos. And I'm literally going over there in an hour and a half so I didn't want to make like a massive meal. But I just have two seed crackers here and then I have my homemade almond butter and then some celery and some tahini with salt, pepper, and um, lemon juice. And honestly, this is like so good. I love that I can have like salty and savory here and then sweet here. Me and Alex are making fish tacos tonight and because we can't have flour or corn tortillas, we're gonna try and figure out how to make coconut tortillas. I don't know, there's coconut some- Coconut flour. Yeah, there's some recipe of like tortillas that look pretty good. Well, I guess we can't recommend them until we eat them, so you'll find out when we find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks like a freaking proper tortilla. The consistency is like a pita. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I like That's it. That's good. So we've decided they're like pitas instead of tacos. But, yum, let's see. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. I mean, how could this not be good? What do you think? I don't know, I'm gonna be totally honest. I think I said this yesterday, but like I am so freaking sick of the diet. Like, <laughs> I feel like the last two days, like today and tomorrow, are harder than the first two days were. Just because I know I'm so close to being able to eat fruit that I'm like, I'm so close that I can like almost taste it, but I can't freaking taste it because I can't eat it yet. I don't really have any desire to like cook anything special or like, I don't know, I'm just so ready to eat fruit. Like, I have never craved fruit so much in my life. It was really hard. Like, it was super restrictive. And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't easy. Like, I will say, if I could eat meat, there'd be way more options for food. But because I don't eat meat, it was hard. And I don't know how a vegan would do it because I'm just grateful I could eat the eggs and the fish. But yeah, that's kind of like my con is it was freaking hard and very restrictive. So I would also want to put a quick little disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a health certified person, nothing. I'm not an expert in anything, but little disclaimer. If you have struggled with restricting your diets or anything like that, I would be very cautious with doing this because I don't know where it can lead someone else mentally or health wise and I don't even want to like put that out there. So that's my disclaimer. Like obviously do your own research and please realize that this is my experience and this is, it worked for me. And yeah, I mean, I just, this is making me uncomfortable because I don't want to say anything wrong, but please use your own discretion. But yeah, I mean, guys, like I feel freaking fantastic. Like I have so much energy. My emotions are, I don't wanna say leveled, you know? Of course it's not like the end all be all. Like I still have shit that I have to deal with, but I'm taking the steps and I'm doing the things that I need to do to progress and be happy and like live a better life. But this was definitely amazing and a massive stepping stone for that. I learned so much about food. I learned so much about my body. I learned so much about hormones and how certain foods affect certain hormones. And I also learned that I can love food without obsessing over carbs. Like I don't have to have a freaking carb every time I eat a meal to feel full and satisfied. I can actually make a bomb ass salad and love it. Like I don't have to have a massive plate of spaghetti for dinner because I'm starving. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still want the pizza and the pasta and like all the things, but I don't have to have it and I can find a better balance with that. So 
I'm super excited to take what I've learned in these two weeks and implement it into my everyday life and continue to share it with you because it's just something I'm really passionate about and clearly something I'm super fired up and excited about. And I'm just so freaking happy that I did this program. That was a lot of information. Again, if you want a bit more background about me, why I did it, and just more background in, in general, check out the other videos that I've posted and definitely check out the link in the description for the hormonal reset. I do want to say I am not being paid to post this video like at all. This is me just wanting to share my experience. But if you sign up for the program through my link, I do make a commission. So if you decide to not sign up through my link, totally fine, I get it. But just wanna put it out there, I do make a commission if you use my link. And my link also gives $100 off the program, so it's like, why not use it? But yeah, guys, that is basically my experience with the hormonal reset. I feel freaking fantastic. I have learned so much. I'm so excited to take what I've learned and implement it into my everyday life. And I am so happy about the period cramps. And I can't wait to continue learning and just going down this path and sharing it with all of you. Please, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Feel free to check out any of the other videos, the links, all of the things that I've already mentioned. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I would love to have you join the family and I will see you guys next time. Bye.